From what I understand, Fermapan R is one of only two black and white reversal films available on the market today. Um, one made by Edox and the other one made by Ferma. Um, it's quite interesting because it's super contrasty and you don't really see many black and white reversal films. So seeing the picture actually live is really cool. I think it's only made in 35 unfortunately, um, but this video just goes through shooting it. I also shot it with a red filter which gave a really interesting look and I think if you used an infrared filter you might even get close to um, Kodak HIE film which pretty hard to come by these days so might be worth exploring further. I shot this mostly in this bog in Tata which is just outside Budapest and it's not too far to get to but it was dried up until the year 2000 when they stopped mining and then it filled up with natural spring water again and um, which is like naturally carbonated and some of the wildlife here is really unique just to this area there's turtles and snakes and it's always around 22 degrees or 20 degrees in the water so all year round it's not too bad I think this is a good example of where the red filter comes in so that previous shot was just normal this is with the red filter and you can see a lot of the plants and fauna it's really light so I think with the infrared filter it'd be really interesting to see if it does get kind of like a infrared film again the plants are really light here so that filter is definitely making a difference on these shots which you can't always see when you shoot in black and white film too much here are those turtles swimming around enjoying the nice warm water and it's quite interesting to see because Hungary can get pretty cold in winter so you can see here the water is kind of carbonated and the spring just bubbling below it which makes it warm here and Hungary's got a lot of geothermal activity being well known for its baths but this one's kind of one of the few places that is natural and really um, well preserved A pretty cool film for some portrait potential here if you like really contrasty ones. Didn't film a whole lot of the bog for the rest of this but I did shoot quite a bit of the film. Um, this was near the end of the bog. We just walked around and you, know, you can see this little rope bridge, which was nice. But the film here, I do actually really like the contrast. I think the detail as well you get from reversal is always way better. Um, so it's really nice and a really good film that I'd definitely shoot again. A lot of these photos are just kind of random pictures of the bog, nothing special. Um, but there's some nice ones from Tata. It's kind of hard to shoot black and white when it's this much forest and this many leaves. You don't really see too much. It's all a bit messy. Um, but there's some isolated pictures of lily pads and trees which I think really stand out and really show the detail on the colour reversal which is awesome. The great thing about this film as well is that Foam is a pretty budget company I'd say. So this film only costs eight pounds in the UK and where I am living at the moment, it's even cheaper. These last two pictures again show the difference between the black and white with a red filter and without. So I'll let you work out which one was which, but I think it's quite obvious from the lightness of the leaves. We made our way back to Tata, which is just a little town on this massive lake with some pretty picturesque scenery. Again, didn't film all too much, but went for a quick drink and 
shot a few more photos before heading back to Budapest where I finished the role. This photo of the lake with this church or monastery, I'm not really sure what it was, but it also had this DJ event with some beer drinking festival kind of thing sponsored by Miller, which is kind of strange to see in what looks like a religious building. mostly see this film being used for the landscapes just for the high detail you get from these. Um, got to choose the right weather because it is pretty contrasty but if you manage to get it right I think the polarizer would be really cool especially if it's slightly cloudy I think they will just pop. Finished a roll on this little neighborhood a few cats who are um, strays and I like the detail you get especially you can see the eyes this one, I think choking on some food, but was fine. But I think you can kind of see almost a grungy vibe with this film, just makes everything look slightly edgier. So this wire fence, I think is kind of cool. And here, it's a good example of that super high contrast and just being able to get some detail from the cat. I recommend going out to buy some of this film, especially if you have an infrared filter, and let me know how they look, because I'm intrigued to see.